Hey guys. So we just finished up our stay at the Andas in Papagayo, Costa Rica, and it was like probably one of the best days we've ever had and one of the best rooms we've Seriously ever had. Seriously amazing. So let's start. All right, so number one is check-in. The check-in experience here was amazing. We pulled up in the car and right away we're whisked away. We met everybody from Bellman to the assistant front office manager to other yep. managers on duty. Everyone was so nice. It was an incredibly nice themselves and then um, the best part Max gets a massage the second we walk in the door that Max was nice. gets a massage complimentary five-minute massage so insane Very every solid. guest gets one it wasn't like we were special uh, <laughs> but it does make you feel very relaxed and special the second you walk in came with a welcome drink a nice cold towel which is nice when it's 100 degrees out and very humid so check in and lobby five stars number two rooms the rooms Five stars all around, by far. Uh, we walked into the room, it's open, we had a bay view. Uh, right away, we have a massive balcony. You'll see our shower, yeah. incredible best shower, hotel shower for sure. We were talking, this might be one of our favorite rooms of any hotel around the world. I honestly it's think it's up there on one of my favorite rooms. I mean, Top the fact three, that sure. the entire room opens up and you just have this patio that we're sitting on right now. You can see the shower behind us actually. We opened everything up right now. Um, and you just you just have this like really great vibe that's indoors and out. And the whole um, property reflects this, which is amazing. Yeah, and really like I mean we're we're on a high floored room, but uh, every room kind of has this vibe because it's 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 situated on a hill, so you know the property lines up and each building kind of cascades down, and so each room really has that same feeling of, of privacy and openness to nature and view, and, and some of the lower rooms are, are more in the trees, but. That's all part of the charm, really, of, of this property. Yeah, and the general manager we met, Adam, says the same thing. The whole property is just in nature, and it's meant to be um, just explored and, and feel like you're inside the forest as well. Number three, food and beverage. So I'm going to say five stars here because the dinner last night and the breakfast this morning, yeah, amazing. That was, that was seriously over the top. I mean, we had dinner last night and actually, you know, unfortunately for us, their their, their main restaurant, uh, which is their fine dining restaurant, was closed. Um, so we went to what's their tapas place. But, but oh my God. Seriously and We had fantastic. drinks from the guy who did our mixology class, which we'll talk about uh, shortly. And those cocktails are to die for. They, they really take it to heart here with kind of creating things and um, mastering their craft and mixing in local ingredients, really taking the, the kind of flavor of Costa Rica, which to be honest is really not known for its food, and taking it up a notch. Um, it's, it, it's the best food we've had in Costa Rica, hands down. Absolutely. Number four, facilities. Facilities here, I'd say five stars. Um, they have a full 24-hour gym with a steam room. There's a relaxation area. You actually have full access to the spa amenities without needing a massage. I think that was really nice. Yeah. You, you, you have access to get to the, the kind of lounge pool, um, the sauna, the locker rooms for the spa without actually having to, to have an appointment for the spa. So there's also an adults-only pool. So there are kids on property. There, there are romantic couples on property and they do a great job separating the two. That's what you're looking for, they have it. And then they had three tiers of pools, so where the main pools are, there's like two pools. Um, one of them kind of has like a beach sand look to it. And then there's uh, you know the adults only pool, which is obviously very cool. Also frequented by the local monkeys, which yes, is pretty fun the to howler see monkeys. the howler monkeys come down and play in the trees and do that whole thing. Uh, yeah, which very is cool. cool. And then there's also three beaches. So there's one beach fully serviced. There's another beach that's more of a um, just sit and listen to the ocean waves kind of a beach. And then they have a beach club, which is part of the property, but it's a short drive away and they have a shuttle every 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, so there's full service there in terms of bar, food, any loungers, beach yeah. service. The beach, you know, the beaches here are, are obviously not the white sand beaches of, of the Caribbean, but they have their own unique charm. Um, they're set within the mangroves, uh, usually type, kind of like a black sand type beach and the water was warm, beautiful, crystal clear. It's really exciting to go down there and I think they did a really good job with the beach club of kind of setting it back in the trees, having a really laid back lots feeling, of lots of like, yeah, like hammocks and loungers mm -hmm. and then the, the actual uh, like chairs that we were on, the chaise lounges were all kind of set halfway in the water. I thought that yeah, looked very that was cool. Awesome. 
Um, they also have activities that they offer through the hotel, so you can book um, tours like going to the volcano, horseback riding, whatever you want directly through the hotel. So their facilities are absolutely top notch. Number five, service. Service was probably some of the most attentive that I've experienced anywhere. Um, from the moment we checked in to uh, now as we're leaving, they just already pulled up our car, they came for our luggage. I mean, just so attentive across the board. It's pretty impressive. We pulled up, we never even really saw our bags. They were in our room by the time we got there. Uh, we got, you know, a nice full property tour and there were a couple things that, you know, were particularly done probably for us because we had set some things up for, for media stage. But as we actually looked around and we saw you know, people on the property, other we people met other on people property. on the property, we talked to people, you know, we really get this, this feeling that like every single person here is extremely committed to their job and a top level of service. Uh, you know, we, we had the opportunity to meet the general manager, uh, the head chef, and as well as, uh, you know, the, the head of food and beverage. And all of them, you could tell every single thing that happened on property, they were there, they were watching, and if something wasn't quite as they wanted, it was corrected right away. And so that, that, that I think really kind of establishes the level of service across the property, down to the fact that, uh, you know, at night when a golf cart passes you, which there are golf carts all over the property because it is big, so you get taken with golf carts most places. Uh, when a golf cart passes you, they turn off the lights, um, which is, is really kind of or like they a, pull over a top right class thing. thing. Yeah, they turn off the lights and so they don't shine you in the eyes. And that's kind of a, a really, really nice thing to see. Number six, activities. So they do offer off property activities, but there are a lot of things that they do on property. We got a full calendar of events when we checked in, which was so awesome. But we also got to go to a mixology class, which was no, totally Super unexpected. Cool. Uh, I did not. I've been to a mixology class at a hotel before, and it was nothing like this experience. Yeah, the mixology class was honestly, I, I really didn't have any expectations for no, it to be, yeah. to, to be completely honest, and uh, totally blown away. Um, you know, the the gentleman that, that led the class, his name was Jorge really takes a passion in mixology and that really shone through um, and we also were there with with the new director of food and beverage Pedro who you know had the opportunity to be there and experience the whole thing um, the, the just the, the care and the time that they took to just explain everything and what they were doing with the cocktails really shone through and they were also delicious cocktails. Yeah, they also have a barista class and we didn't get to do that, but we did get to try some of those special coffees this morning at breakfast and I have no doubts that the barista class is the exact same way. Yeah, the barista class is led by Luis and we had an opportunity to spend some time with him this morning outside of the class and honestly, again, fantastic knowledge of local culture in the way that they filter the coffee and the way that they actually serve it. It was really a really pleasure special. to, to yeah. be around people that, again, as we said in, in our kind of previous section about service, really take a pride in their service. Mm -hmm. Number seven is style. Something that surprised me most about our stay was like the vibe of the yeah. property. Um, I like fell in love. The, you know, they're playing like cool music. There's this amazing decor everywhere. The hotel really does fit into the landscape um, and everything is natural woods and bamboo and glass and it's just like a really incredible um, style to the property that uh, I just didn't really expect. Yeah, I was really surprised by the style as well. Uh, you know, when we actually had the opportunity before we checked in here, we were on a boat in the bay and we drove by, or we, we rode by this property and looking in and seeing the property, there wasn't anything particularly impressive. It really blended into the landscape. And, you know, at first we kind of looked at that and we were like, oh, like we, we didn't really notice the property that much. When we checked in, we were now on the other side of that and we were immersed in this, in the trees and all of the, the, the kind of construction of things uses bamboo and, and... And there's literally trees in the restaurant. Yeah, like, like it's there's part trees of growing the into the, the hotel and that's really cool. It, it kind of, it, it just blends into its natural surroundings and really gives this feeling that you you are part of nature. Uh, the All the restaurants are completely open. There's, there's no glass, there's nothing closed. Um, all the rooms open up completely. So there's there's just really this great vibe that connects you to the, the surrounding nature that, that we really enjoyed. And, and I think that their style really shone through. Just like the Andaz brand and other hotels that we've stayed at within the Andaz brand, this really captured the style of its location. It's not a typical Hyatt, and that's really where Andaz brand differentiates itself. 
it takes on the local feel, the local culture, and immerses itself and makes you feel a little more connected to it. It's one of their big millennial brands, which I think is, is, is something that, that does speak to millennials. Yeah, and they do it right. Number eight, location. I'd give this a four and a half stars for sure, because you're entering these private gated communities, and in Costa Rica, where there are no private beaches, this is as close as you're gonna get. You're sure. getting into the property, there's security, you have to be staying at either the Four Seasons or here to, to even enter. So that experience is very different from all of the other beach hotels um, around the area. Um, it is secluded, so you do have to be aware of that when you do check in, is you're not going to be walking into town. Um, so overall, this property is a total gem. I don't even know how you could walk away from the hotel not feeling like this is your home. And everything uh, about it made us feel like we were super welcome here and we're even planning a trip coming up again just to come back here. So very special property, totally surprised me. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. So stay tuned for our next uh, hotel review. Oh,